Today on Two Crazy Ketos, we're going to discuss serving sizes. Let's talk about it right, right after, after this. this. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos, we do product reviews, we talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us on different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. That's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Yeah. So today, we're going to start a brand new series here on Two Crazy Ketos called... Let's Talk About It. Let's Talk About It. And this is basically going to be a series where we talk about different things that maybe come up where we're talking around the house and we're like, hey, you know, what do you think of this? So we're going to have these different issues. We're going to discuss them here on camera. And then we're going to ask you guys to let us know what you think down in the comment section, as well as how you think we could rectify some of these different situations. Now, we understand that there's two sides to every issue. Mm -hmm. Not everybody's going to agree with us. And we have to be okay with that. Right. Because I don't want us to shy away from topics topics just because we're afraid that people won't like us if they don't agree with our opinion. So let's talk about it. Yeah. So today's topic is going to be something that really grinds my gears and that is serving sizes on nutrition labels. I think that corporations put a lot of effort into, I don't know, gearing things directly to Rachel, right? <laughs> they know the intersection of how many calories and carbs I want to see in a serving size at the intersection with I want to value for, you know, the bag size. Mm -hmm. So they just gear the serving size directly to that. For me, the bottom line is serving sizes, they're a joke. There's no regulations here in the United States on what a serving size is. So that means the companies basically get to manipulate that serving size to fit whatever calories they think you're going to purchase. Perfect example, 100 calorie packs. Yeah. Everybody try to keep their, hey, I want to keep my serving size to 100 calories. So what do companies do? They come out with 100 calorie packs. Did they do anything to the food? No, they just gave you less cookies. I also notice it with jars of tomato sauce. So they're all tomato sauce. Mm -hmm. They all have variations of tomato and water and vinegar and all that kind of stuff. But sometimes, it's a fourth of a cup. Sometimes it's a half of a cup. Sometimes it's a third of a cup. To all make it about the same calories in a serving. And when I reach for that tomato sauce, I'm just looking, oh, okay, there's 100 calories in this or 150 calories across the board. But then you get home and that's not what you're getting in a serving because right. I'm pretty much putting the same amount of tomato sauce into my recipes every single time. Right, and that's my whole point, especially here on keto, because on keto, we're not so concerned about calories for the most part. We're not even concerned about the fat. What are we really looking at when we look at a nutrition label? We're looking Carbs. at the carbohydrates. Now the companies know this because they're obviously trying to market everything towards keto people, right? They're labeling keto this, keto friendly, keto this. So what do they do? They know that we want to keep our carbs low. So how are they manipulating it? They're changing the serving sizes to make sure that a product says one carb, two carb, three carb, five carbs, or whatever you know the net carbs may be. A great example of this is spices. And it's not even the spice company's fault, but you know the average serving size for a spice is a quarter of a teaspoon. Right. Who is using that little bit of spice? Nobody. No one. But on the nutrition label, what does it say? Zero. Yeah. You know, a clove of garlic is a carb. So what I want to say is have basically a regulation that makes every company use the same exact serving size for a particular product. Right. Now, I have an idea. I have some different products that you guys saw in the opening shot. I want to go through some of these to see what I'm talking about. Right. So that you can see why we're frustrated. Because I'm sure that at some point people are thinking like, okay, just like govern yourself. You know? Right. But you can see how it's a slippery slope. Perfect example. One of Rachel's pitfalls. Pork rinds. 
This bag of pork rinds has six servings according to the nutrition label. But we all know at the most it probably has two. And I understand that it is my responsibility to know what is going into my body and do the math and all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. I get it. But if they would just say a bag of this is six, you know what I mean? Eight times six. So instead of me seeing 80 calories up here, I'm seeing 40, 480 calories. Then I may approach this bag a little bit differently. Right. Now, I just wanted to give you guys an example. This is a serving of their pork rinds. Now, I have a second bag that I open to get this out. The only thing that came out of this bag is this. So I want to know, be honest, because I'll be honest with myself. There is no way if I open the bag, I'm leaving this much. I may, you know what, honestly what I'm going to do? I'm going to leave this much in the bag right. to say like, I didn't eat the whole bag, Joe. Yeah. And it's the same thing with cheese crisps. Mm -hmm. That's another one that I have trouble well, with. Well, let's bring up cheese crisps. You got a package of cheese crisps over there. Right. And this is exactly what I'm talking about. Now, both of these are products that we absolutely love. Great. What we're discussing here is not a knock on any company. As a matter of fact, everything that you're going to see here was pulled out of our pantry, which so means purchased we it. purchased it. Yeah. This is just a little discussion on like, what do you guys think about serving sizes? So this is 1.75 ounces. This is 2.25 ounces. They look, they look very similar in very size. Very similar in size. And we could even open it up if you want and take a look at like what is a crisp. Fortunately, both of them have Ziploc bags. So very similar. Very similar size. These might even be just a touch smaller than those, but I think these are a little bit denser than those. Right. Okay. So here's my issue. Take a look at the serving size on the palm crisps. Three, three um, servings in the container. And how many grams in a serving? 18. Now this is 30 grams per serving, and they're saying there's 2.25 servings per bag. So there you go. Who, what exactly is 0. Who, 0.25? Who is measuring 2.25? Right. It's even worse, and both, I think this one does it, I don't know if that one does it, they both do, where they say 12 crisps or 15 crisps. But they're all different. But if they're all different sizes, can you really do that? Because personally, here's the thing. I'm gonna pick out the 15 biggest ones yeah. and say, hey, I had a serving. I'm also going to say that broken ones don't count <laughs> at all. They shouldn't even be in there, so I'm just getting rid of them. Now, what's happening is they're trying to manipulate based on the calories or sometimes the fat. So for example, they're saying a serving is 100 calories in here. Because so they're gonna give you like just that enough for that. Right. This, they're going, it's 180 calories. What are they trying to do here? And again, we love we high love key, but they're saying there's zero carbs per serving. Now we all know that all cheese has a carb in it. This is not magic cheese. Right, all the cheese has a carb in it. So how do they get to say zero carbs? Lower the serving size down beyond what the law says you have to claim it as one carb where you can claim it as less than one or zero. Right. Now they can say zero carb. We're all going to grab it going. It's zero carbs. Not if you eat the whole bag. Mm. Let's get into some other products. So here's Jello, which I love. Sugar okay. free. And every once in a while we make Jello. Yeah. Jello doesn't have the cleanest ingredients when you're buying it in here. It does have some maltodextrin and stuff like that. But the bottom line is sometimes it's a nice little treat, right? Yeah. How many of you guys have ever made Jello at home? Right. We make Jello. This is four servings. Is it though? When we make Jello, we eat you a box. <laughs> easily, easily. At the most, I would say two. At, yeah, at minimum. But here's the thing. Looking at this, there's four servings in here. A serving size is a quarter of a package. Now, when you make Jello, can you make a quarter of a package? I cannot make a quarter of a package. So now it's all made. But again, they're saying here, total carbs is? Zero. Zero. But, I don't have my glasses on, when you look at, where are they, the ingredients, there's a list of ingredients, 
including maltodextrin. So you know it's going to add a carb. It's gonna have at least a carb. But if they say there's four servings in here, they're also saying there's 10 calories per serving. So if you eat the whole box, it's 40 calories. But what sounds better, 10 per serving, or 40 per serving. Right, exactly. What else we got? Here's another product that we absolutely love. Keto Farms, where's the other Keto bag? Keto Farms, and then, and this is usually the alternative. And we appreciate that you have individual bags versus the giant bag. And that's why I wanna commend this company mm -hmm. because this is a product that we absolutely love. This is how it used to come and you can't get it like this anymore. No. And this was always a knock I had on Ben and Brandon three and a half servings per bag. Which is not a thing. I was lucky if I got two servings out of the I bag, I can't personally. believe that this bag is open and it's not empty. <laughs> For real. So a serving size here is a third of a cup, which is 29 grams, 170 calories, five total carbs, two grams of dietary fiber, and again, and then seven grams of protein. Now, what have they done? They've gone Individual. Here. Now, what I could almost see which would be very helpful and it's okay to do. You don't have to turn everything into an individual bag. How about just give me all of the information if I eat this entire bag, I'm still held responsible, right? Mm -hmm. It's still my responsibility not to consume the entire bag in a sitting. However, it would be better to just know what's going on there. Right. And just be able to sell it and eat it this way. And I'm with you and I got another product to that. We're kind of heading towards where I would like to see us. Dang! So we have dang chips. Again, like Rachel said, my feeling is you don't have to have everything in an individual bag. I like the individual bag, but coming with an individual serving also brings something Price. else. An increase in cost because obviously there's an increase in packaging and me personally don't, I don't wanna pay the increase in price in packaging. Not necessarily. But I also um, sometimes don't have the willpower to only eat one serving. And Keto Farms was the perfect example for that. And yeah. there again, that's a company though that knew a lot of us have that issue. A lot of us have an issue they're coming, they're in the keto community, so they're ones that care about your health as opposed to pork this rinds. company who's just trying to sell yeah. you pork rinds and so let's make it really small. A serving size is 80 calories. You know, now pork rinds is all fat, right? right? So of course they're gonna try to give you a low calorie count. So when you look at this, this is where I would like to see us moving in the country and that is, so there is three servings in this bag. Is there? which there's a lot in this bag. They're saying a serving size is 200 calories, but they're also telling you on the back, if you eat the entire bag, there you go. It's 600 calories. Okay, so then I know I can't, I, I, I'm not able to be ignorant of it, because that's a good thing too. I'm an addict. Mm -hmm. I want to eat the entire bag, but if in my mind, I can play around and say baglings don't count or broken things don't count or you know I'm only looking at what my serving size is per thing. It really ultimately will help me to just know there's 600 calories in this bag, Rachel. Right. There is, let's see, eat the whole thing. There's 32 grams of carbs, Rachel. There's 17 grams of fiber, Rachel. Right. Like deal with it, face it. It's okay to face it. It's okay to talk about it, right? right? So in addition to that, we just have a couple more products I just wanted to kind of share because here's the thing, not everything comes like this where there's just like random sizes, random amount of pieces. Sometimes you get something like cookies. That's fixed. And it's fixed and everything is the same. They are telling you this package does have one serving, which is two cookies, because let's face it, that's how we're going to eat it. Right. But I wouldn't mind you being like the dang and breaking it down saying, if you're only going to have one serving, here's what it is. And if you're gonna eat the whole package, Here's what it is. Have both. I'm good that way. The only thing I don't like about this is when you look on the front, it does say two net carbs. Now it says two net carbs per cookie, but a serving size is, the is whole, two cookies. Is the whole container. So I would rather the front say four carbs right. per serving, per cookie. It's okay to face these numbers. I feel like this um, kind of back and forth, we're gonna give you some information here and some information there. I know why they're doing it, but it's not good and it's not helpful. Right. So that leads me to what our solution is with our last product right there. 
tomato brick. My, here's what I would like to say. And I'm curious, let us know down in the comments section, what, what do, do you, you guys think? think? Let's talk about this down in the comments section. Because this is a product that I absolutely love. Mm -hmm. And I love the way that Robert markets it. It's a 1,000 calorie meal bar. Which sounds crazy, right? right? On the outset. And it's probably done this way because if you've ever eaten a keto brick, there's no way to eat it pretty, yeah. right? Like there's no way to cut it pretty. Right. Because there's always crumbs that, that come off or you get those pieces that are, aren't quite the same, unless you melt it down and you mm. make it into, you know, fat bombs, smaller sizes that are precise on your own, you're gonna have to deal with a whole brick. So instead of saying, hey, every piece of this brick is this much, there's no way to be accurate. Right. So just do the whole thing, a and thousand calories. The reason I like this is because here's the thing. Most of us do not eat an entire keto brick in a sitting. No. We have when it's just a meal or it's that's most though. of our food for the day. Most of us are like taking a bite off or like you said, we're melting them down. Now, why are we not eating the entire brick in one sitting? Really simple. Because when you turn it over in big bold letters, it says 1,000 calories. And that's a lot. And you start going, I can't eat that entire brick because that entire brick is 50% of the food that I'm supposed to eat for the day. Right. Whereas if he put on this thing, hey, there's eight servings in here and each serving is 125 calories. And you'd be like, mm, I'm gonna take I'll a little take bite. I'll take one more bite. A little bit more bite. Do you guys get where I'm going with this? My proposal is this. I would like to see every company have to have the same exact standards for nutrition labels. So, and that also includes with the rounding down and rounding up with where can they put zero, where can they put one, where can they put less than one. Don't leave it up to the individual corporation. Right. Who's going to differ depending on what their board decides. <laughs> right. So what I would like to see is on a product like this, every product or even a product like this, every product must say the nutrition label, whatever the calorie count is, the is for the entire thing. package. And then you break it down. And then you break it down. That's, or at minimum, I'd like to see something like this, where if they want to say there's three servings in here, fine, but they must be required by law, by legislation to also put what the entire package is. The other thing that I would like to see, and this is something that you brought up is, that every similar product has the same exact serving size. So if you buy tomato sauce, if we decide that it's a third of a cup or a half a cup, whatever that is, whatever is the amount, mm -hmm. every jar of tomato sauce does the same thing. Right, and you'll see that sometimes with heavy cream. I have seen that, bringing it back to the keto world. I've seen heavy creams where you pick up the container and it says the serving size is one tablespoon. Right. I've seen heavy creams where it said the serving size is a half a tablespoon. So it's not like a different heavy whipping cream brand has any different ingredients going on in it, but I am probably going to reach for the one that says half as much calories, carbs, all of those things, but it's not accurate. And we've done that with cream cheese. We've done it with heavy cream. I've done it with entering things on chronometer where I would go you know, find the erythritol that was listed as zero net carbs. I think you mean my fitness pal, because chronometer doesn't allow you to do that. You're right, you're absolutely right. So we've all played these games. So what I wanna do is I'd like to see, I hate to say more legislation, but I'd like to see some legislation where the food companies can't manipulate on what we're trying to accomplish with our health goals. Yeah, it's funny to hear like more legislation coming out of my mouth. Like mm -hmm. that is not, that it feels foreign right. in, in my mouth. But yeah, I think that let's, let's put the legislation towards something helpful, which right. is letting people get the accurate information and make educated choices. Now, yes, I'm gonna have to put on my big girl panties and like, eat a bag appropriately because even if it says that there's 600 calories in this bag, if 
I can't eat this whole bag. Right. And 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 consume 600 calories worth of tropical mango coconut chips. Today. And and that's a perfect thing though. It's like we were talking about with the keto break to wrap this up. You yourself say you have an issue with pork rinds. If you open a bag of pork rinds, you're going to eat the entire bag. But when you pick up the bag, you're seeing 80 calories, I'm so like, you don't I'm mind good. it. But if you picked up this bag and it said this bag is 480 calories and you're only eating 1500 calories for the day, what is the chance that you will eat the entire bag? There is no chance because, because it's I know, a third of your calories. I know that it's going to mean that I'm out on delicious bacon and hamburgers and steak later on. Right. Well, I think that about wraps up what our feelings are on serving sizes. Let us know down in the comments section what you guys think about it. Do you think that we should have some kind of legislation where every company has to abide by a certain serving size on product? Or do you think we should just leave it up to everybody and say like, hey, you're on your own. Be smart about what you're eating and learn how to read. No matter what you say down below, we'll try not to cry. <laughs> <laughs> That's our guarantee. That's our commitment to let's talk about it. Also, let us know down in the comment section some other topics that you'd like to see us discuss here on Let's Talk About It. And please do us a favor, hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. bye.